Hi, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement view pager 2 with dot indicator or image slider with dot indicator. So let's get started. First, we create our project. Here, I'm selecting empty view activity and click on next. Name of your project. And here, I'm selecting language Kotlin and click on next. So first, I'm saving some images in drivable folders. So here you can see I have added some images in drawable folder. Now we create some drawable resource files. So here create drawable resource file and name it dot selected. And here we use shape. So when we set any image, how it will display it. So here we define the shape and the color now set the size so this file defines the appearance of the selected dots now create another drawable resource file and name it dot unselected and this file defines the appearance of unselected dots now we create another travel resource file and name in dot selector so this is a selector file and it is used to change the appearance of dots when selected and unselected. Now open main activity dot XML. And this XML file contain the view pager and the custom dot indicator. So here we use linear layout. Now, now add view pager. So here we have to add some dependency in build.gradle app level. So here you can see I have added view pager to dependency and click on sync now. Now open activity main.xml. Now add linear layout for custom dot indicator. Now we create a layout file. So here we click on layout resource file and name it item page. And this layout file we will use to define the individual items in the view pager and you can customize it according to your need. So here we use linear layout. So here you can add your content here. So here I am add one text view and I'm one image view. Now we create another layout resource file and name it indicator. And this file we use for the dot indicator.
so here we use dot selector drawable file now we will create view pager adapter that will display the content so here click on kotlin class file so in the my pager adapter class you should display the data that you want to display within your view pager too and this data should be in the format that correspond to the content of each page or item in the view pager too and your model class should encapsulate the information you want to display so here we create data class and name it model So here model class is a data class that represent the data for each page in the view pager too and it contains the properties like title description and image view and here we pass a model class and this class my pager adapter class extend the recycler view So now we create view holder for each page and wind the data from your model class to the view in the item.page.xml file. And here we use view holder. So here on create view holder and this method is called when the recycler view needs a new view holder of the given type of to represent an item and here get count return the total number of item in the data set held by the adapter and on wind view holder is called by the recycler view to display the data at the specified position. So here we create view. And we here we inflate our item page XML file. And on mine view holder we used to display the data by using position so here we get the id of the title text view similarly description text view and the image view Now after creating the adapter, open mainactivity.kt and here we set up the view pager 2 with our adapter and dot indicator. So first we get the ID of view pager and dot indicator from XML file by using find view by ID.
Now we create the list of model instance and pass this list to the my page adapter when setting up the view pager. So here we create the list of model instance. Now we set the adapter and here we pass our list of items and then we set this adapter to our view page. Now we create the dot indicator. So this dot indicator depend upon the size of your list. So here we create create dot indicator function. And here we pass the dot selector. So here create dot indicator function is used to create the dot indicator for each page in the view pager 2 and these dot indicator are typically used to visually present the number of page and indicate which page is currently being viewed. So this function is responsible for creating a set of dot indicator views and adding them to the dot indicator. Each dot indicator represent a page in view pager. Now we create update dot indicator function and this update dot indicator function is used to update the appearance of the dot indicators in response to changes in the currently selected page within the view pager to ensure that the dot corresponding to the selected page is highlighted while remains are unselected So here we attach a page change callback to update the selected dot. Now create an override method on page selected. And here we call update dot indicator. Now run the project. So here you can see the output when I slide the image. Our dot indicator is also changes position. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.